Good morning, everyone, and welcome to Stretford Paddock. I am Alex, and I'm outside Old Trafford. I bet you, do you know what? It's not that bad weather considering November. I know you, you're all wanting the weather update, but do you know what? It's cold, you know that. It's grey, it's Manchester, that's what you're going to get. But the main thing is it's not raining, so it's an all right day at Old Trafford. Still, still no one's wearing a hat on the news. I'm still going Casey Evans. Make sure you're in the comments below. Let us know who's going to be the first one to wear a hat on the news for Stretford Paddock. I'm still going Casey Evans. But we've got loads of stuff to talk to you about this morning. We've got news about Ole Gunnar Solskjaer and Maurizio Pochettino. We've got news about our goalkeepers as well as Paul Pogba. So, also, if you're not already... Go and follow us on Instagram because we're doing more behind the scenes stuff, more Instagram only stuff. So make sure, well, it's still at full time devils over on Instagram, but make sure you go over and follow us on there. More ways for you to get involved in the international break and all sorts of good stuff. So make sure you go in at full time devils. The link's in the description below. So go and click on that and follow us over on Instagram. So the first bit of news this morning comes pretty close to home. So yesterday, as he's been doing every single week for the past few weeks, Mr. Stephen Housen has been doing his five things that he learns with Rio Ferdinand on uh, on Rio Ferdinand's channel. And Rio had a bit of a chat about Ole Gunnar Solskjaer and and how that he's been completely disrespected in the media coming up to up to that Everton game this weekend. You know, which he was. You know, I think everyone was thinking, you know, what if we United don't get a result against Everton, that is going to be Ole Gunnar Solskjaer gone. Rio Ferdinand says. That's a lot of rubbish. He was saying that he's got it from pretty reliable sources that Manchester United will be back in Ole Gunnar Solskjaer and that there are no talks with Richard Pochettino as were reported in some places last week and that Manchester United are going to back Ole Gunnar Solskjaer. They're going to stick with him. They're going to go through this, this process. I've seen a lot of people tweeting this week saying trust the process. And I agree, United need to back Ole Gunnar Solskjaer. They need to let him keep getting his players in, whether that be January, whether that be next summer, because... To be honest, it doesn't really matter what manager is in charge unless you get the players and you don't have a B flying into your head. You aren't going to achieve at Manchester United. So, Rio Ferdinand there talking on it, him and Mr. Stephen Housen's five things that he learned over on Rio's channel. If you've not seen that already, go and check it out. It is a good video, even with you know Stephen Housen involved. But anyway, it is a good video. Go and check that out. But yeah, he's saying that Ollie's been completely disrespected in the media. And I agree. Moving on from that, we've got a little bit of news on our goalkeeping situation. I know Jay yesterday talked about Sergio Romero's deals that had kind of fallen through and where it was going, but this is from ESPN, and this is where Sergio Romero, they're saying that they're kind of keeping a hold of him just in case things aren't quite right with Dean Henderson and if things aren't quite working out. This this report from ESPN says that Dean Henderson has been speaking to Gareth Southgate about his position in the England squad and how he sees him as... Uh, potential number one but that he needs to get playing time and you know this is one of the worries for a goalkeeper you know goalkeepers can't be just rotating you know Dean Henderson's only played three games so far this season uh, all in cup competitions he's not played in the league at all and I don't think he will play in the league at all unless there's something horrendously wrong goes on with David De Gea but this is the thing what what does Dean Henderson do he he's content with saying as the number two at Manchester United but if he's not getting England squad I'm sure Dean Henderson wants to be the number one and wants to be going to the Euros with England next summer. So, what does he do? I think what this news article was saying was we're keeping hold of Romero just in case Dean Henderson says, do you know what, I need first-team football, send me out on loan, and maybe that might happen in January. You know, maybe Dean Henderson says, I need to go and get first-team football if I want to play in the Euros next year. So maybe I'm going to go on loan for six months, play, play maybe a, a different club in the Premier League, maybe go abroad gets first team football and make myself England's number one. Because, you know what, we've all seen Jordan Pickford play. We saw him play against Manchester United this weekend. He's, how he's England number one ahead of Dean Henderson is crazy. Now, there's a better argument for Nick Pope, but at the same time, he is he's, he's at Burnley. He's conceding a lot of goals. Burnley haven't had the best start to their season. And I think Dean Henderson is just the better goalkeeper of the three. I think that the one thing that Dean Henderson's going to need is going to need playing time. And if Gareth Southgate won't give him the time without it having that at club level. Maybe he goes out on loan January time this year. I hope not, because I want to see him at Manchester United. I want to see him pushing David De Gea, but we'll see how that goes. Now, we are talking about Paul Pogba. We talked about him last week. I've got linked to Juventus and how people saying he was a target for Juventus and all this kind of stuff. Now, been talked about again in the media. He just even, even when he's not the one coming out and saying stuff, even when it's not his fault, definitely not this time, 
someone has to bring him up. And this this time it's uh, France manager Didier Deschamps. He's been saying about how he's not very happy. So Didier Deschamps, speaking ahead of their international fixtures this week, says, Paul, I know him well and he knows the group well. He's in a situation with his club where he cannot be happy, neither with his playing time with, nor with his positioning. He's not in the best period. He's had a series of injuries and the COVID-19 has hit him quite hard. He needs to find his rhythm. The match he had to make last month was good and consistent despite lack of pace. We cannot, however, say that he's fulfilled in what he does at his club. With me, there is no concern, but I try to manage it too. When a player is in discomfort at his club, obviously he's happy to play for the France team. He will tell me about his feelings and I know him very well. It will go in a positive direction, even if it's also up to him to make all his efforts. So, Didier Deschamps saying that Paul Pogba's not happy. It's not really anything new, but at the same time, this is stuff that keeps coming up and up and up about Paul Pogba. There's, there's always rumours, there's always this. Now, talking there about playing time for Manchester United this season, Paul Pogba started the first few games of, of the season for Manchester United and looked off the pace. He had to be dropped, he had to be rested. And I don't think anyone can argue that he hasn't played his best football for Manchester United this season. He's looked good coming off the bench. I think he was fantastic coming off the bench in Paris. I th- but, you know, look at the games he started. You look at the Arsenal game. People will say that, oh, maybe he wasn't in his best position. He was playing in something a bit new. He's playing in the forward position that he's been crying out for and apparently is his best position. He he, he wasn't relying on doing defensive work. And he just, he just was really poor, giving the ball away, making poor decisions. And to be honest, it shouldn't be about your positioning that makes these that makes these decisions. It's not, you know, you can question his influence on the game from when he's playing in the deeper positions, but you can't question him when he gives the ball away, when he's making silly mistakes. And if if he's not happy, then he's not happy. You know, he's got to work his way back into that team. You saw this week against Everton how well Fred McTominay and Bruno worked as a three in midfield, and I think that Oli just just trusts that at the minute. You know, things aren't aren't going fantastically well for Manchester United. I don't think it's anywhere to hide. And you can't have people that aren't quite comfortable in their positions. I think Fred and McTominay, with Bruno ahead of them, I think it works well. I think the team works well around them. I think everyone's comfortable. And I think that Manchester United are going to stick with that until Paul Pogba finds his form. Now, maybe he'll go away to France this, this, this little international break, get a little bit more match fitness, play a few more games where the pressure isn't quite on him as much, and maybe he'll come back into the team and be firing. I'm hoping. I'm hoping that because no Manchester United fan wants to see a poor Paul Pogba a poor Paul Pogba performance. That's not the easiest thing to say. So, they want to see him playing very well. And I want to see Paul Pogba. I want to see the, the front five we had towards the end of last season. I want to see Pogba. I want to see Bruno, Mason, Rashford and Martial firing, scoring loads of goals as we were towards the end of last season. I don't want to see us having to play defensive formations. But at this moment in time, with Paul Pogba not playing his best football, I think it's the best thing for Manchester United to play Fred McTominay with Bruno. Now, the question is, again, you've got Donny van der Beek in there who, who has had glimpses in there as well. There's a lot of competition for places in and around them, those forward midfield roles. So Paul Pogba's going to have to keep stepping up. And if he's unhappy, I think, look, these rumours are going to come out every time he goes on international break. Any time he speaks to the media, they're going to ask him about, are you happy at Manchester United? He's always going to say things like, do you know what, maybe I am, maybe I'm not. Maybe I want to move on, but look, Paul Pogba needs to prove himself. He needs to up his up his performances, whether he's going to play for Manchester United or any other club. He needs to get better at this moment in time. He can't even argue that he's been hard done by by Ole Gunnar Solskjaer at the start of this season. So that has been the news from Old Trafford this morning. Make sure you get in the comments and letting you know, let us know what you think about all those rumours. Do you think Rio Ferdinand knows his stuff about is Pochettino? Is Pochettino not being like eyed up at all and Ole Gunnar Solskjaer? What do you make of the Dean Henderson situation? And again, what do you think of Paul Pogba? Do you think he's happy at Manchester United? Or do you think Deschamps is just talking a lot of rubbish? Anyway, let us know in the comments. And like I said at the start of the video, make sure you follow us on Instagram. There'll be more behind-the-scenes stuff. There'll be more, we'll be going live on there. So make sure, if you want to get involved, if you want to ask us more questions, if you want to suggest some content to us, head over to Instagram. We're still at Full Time Devils. Go and follow us there and get involved over on Instagram. Like I said, I've been Alex Baggers. This has been the Paper Talk. I'll see you next time.